views of them. Because now I'm a bit skeptical also about the GNU because even though the ANC has its own socialist policies such as the NHI, uh, the state bank capacity and the, and the healthcare as well. Whereas we look at the DA, it doesn't have those socialist policies. They only have the privatization of everything. And most of the touching policies that they want to uh, preamble is the one of NXFAS becoming a loan. What do you take of that? Yes, uh, it's, it's, it, was a, it was a shocking move for the ANC to actually work with the DA because mm. of the difference in policies. But it wasn't really shocking because we've acknowledged that the ANC has had these policies, mm. but they had failed to implement any of them for so long. Mm. So it means that it wasn't in their intention to directly focus on those issues. Mm. Mm. So now when we talk about that one of NASFAS, uh, it is a huge calling, especially for the young people of South Africa who are students. Mm to say that the emerging of GNU will mean that the young people will have to formally make a very proper decision mm. in institutions of higher learning on who's leading them. Mm. With the GNU in governance and what the DA is proposing to do with NASFAS, mm -hmm. the students of South Africa at large need the Economic Freedom Fighter Student Command to represent them in institutions of higher learning. Yeah. Because if that doesn't happen, then it allows the penetration of these liberals to also enter the sector mm. of the students. The EFF Student Command has been in so many years, been the defender of the students mm -hmm. uh, for so long from this establishment and from mm -hmm. people who want to pounce from student fees. So for us to maintain that, we need the students of South Africa realizing that we, we do not have to make the same mistakes our parents did. Mm. We, we should not make the same mistake of uh, not valuing our votes. Mm -hmm. Even on campus SRC level, value your votes because what you do during voting gives you uh, uh, what happens to you in the next five years sure. in terms of campus in the next academic year. Mm. So uh, with the emerging of policies like that of DA, mm -hmm. with student command being so strong in the institutions, mm -hmm. the student command will never allow such a thing to happen. So do you do that through CISO funding and kind of campaigns? We do that through CISO funding and kind of campaign, through radical engagement, through mm -hmm. defiance, because something that we do not understand, we won't agree to, mm -hmm. because it affects us. So it cannot be that a certain policy of the DA, which looks right on them, mm -hmm. must be implemented by us when it directly affects us. Mm -hmm. So there must be nothing for students without students. Mm -hmm. If ever that policy has to be passed for some ever reason, yeah. then we need maximum students being involved in the decision making of that particular decision.